What's going on, guys? Charles the Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, you guys. So, quick night flight of this Hill Doe. I think it's the D13, I believe. I forget the model numbers, but it'll be in the description. You guys know. Link it'll be in the description below too if you want to check this bad boy out. We popping off for a night flight because. This thing has, you guys know it has optical avoidance, but we're not worried about that right now. But it has this really cool LED light up front. So we're gonna check that out. It has an LED light in the rear. So we're gonna go for a quick night flight of this bad boy. Nothing too extravagant. Power on. Look at that. Look at the lights. Look at the lights. So turn it on and automatically binds. Level calibration. We're good to fly. Night flight with this heel door drama. T turn off this um, obstacle avoidance. So that should have turned it off. And we are going to go ahead and just unlock and take off. The obstacle avoidance should be turned off. It should be. Actually, no, it's not. Let me turn it off. Now it should be turned off. Yeah, okay. The obstacle avoidance is turned off now. We are in the first ray. Look at the lights on that thing. It's like something from some Star Trek or something, don't it? Look, we got the flips going. The first flight, the first initial flight review, I couldn't get the flip to work. I think because it was so cold out that day that it just kind of exhausted that battery out really quickly. So, nevertheless, nevertheless we flying the hill though. We are in the second right here. Cruising around. Look at the lights on that bad boy. Look at the lights on that bad boy. On the hill though. Alright, we in the third rate. down there bring on the heel door over here this thing flies really good man really responsive on the transmitter and the sticks that's usually rare with you for the cheap wi-fi flyers but this thing flies pretty good look at that You guys knew this was coming, man. The LEDs on that bad boy. Y'all knew that night flight was coming in, y'all. Y'all knew that was coming. Had to. Y'all had to know that. So you get three batteries with this bad boy. Cool little case. And with each battery, you get a good, decent amount of flight time. I think you get about 10, 10 minutes to each battery. Like I said, that first initial flight review, we didn't get the full went to the battery because it wouldn't flip right out the gate so and it was cold that day so we're just gonna chalk that up due to the cold but it still flew for a minute it still got it gave me about six minutes on that first flight and sometimes you know you gotta charge these batteries up and run them out a couple times before they uh fully work properly with them lipos gotta charge and discharge and then they'll fully charge up right on some of these toy grade long batteries this thing is flying pretty good though nice blue led in the rear and of course, some change the lights up front. It's pretty awesome. So, go back to the second rate. <laughs> quick night flight guys you know this is my favorite time to fly late evening flights it's nice calm and relaxing what more can you want
still flipping, so we got a nice, nice amount of battery left. Usually that's how you can tell where your battery level is at, where, where your battery level is at, because it won't let you flip no more when it's getting low and it's still flipping, so. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Little hill though. Why he's smooth. Look at that thing. All right, guys. Let's bring this hill though in. I could keep flying this thing forever. And I got three batteries. Y'all don't want me to be out here all night like this. I, I could be. I'm not gonna make a video that long. <laughs> but yeah, hill though, D13. <laughs> all up your fitness. Your boy's on the dog. Check him out. Got a car coming. Check it out. Still go. Automatic land in my hand. Your boys are on the dogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you guys next episode. I'm out. Deuces.